Hello everyone, Robert Rambles here, and welcome back to WoW Classic TBC and our Tauren Warrior playthrough. Today we are taking on the Underbog. We have assembled a group here. We have a Undead Priest, level 64 on heals, 65 Orc Warlock on DPS, 64 Tauren Shaman, and a 65 Orc Rogue. And we are of course tanking, look at that, we got the... Uh, same shield as our Torin buddy here. Nice shield, man. Uh, for our spec, we have respec protection since the last video. So this is what we're going with for our spec. I'll show you guys that really quick. You can pause it, take a look if you are interested in that sort of thing. That's what we have going on today. And yeah, let's uh, get in here and start pulling these guys back a little bit. Change some of my key bindings up with some of my new abilities, so it might take me a minute to get my legs under me, so to speak. I actually like this better like that. And yeah, Robert, when you charge through somebody and it faces you the wrong way, you have to remember to turn around, buddy. Uh, let's go here on the bats first, I think. We do have some incoming here. Should be able to handle it if we can pick them all up in time. Not too bad, not too bad. I am noticing a little bit of, uh, of a difference in the amount of threat we put out. It's, it's not a huge difference so far. It's also very dependent on the group and the numbers that the other DPS are doing, how easy or hard it is for us to hold threat, but it feels a little bit better. I like having Devastate be an actual attack that causes the Sunder as opposed to us just like kind of pointlessly Sundering things. It always feels like not very good just to be throwing up a bunch of sunders knowing that you're not also dealing any damage really. So that's feeling a little bit better. Uh, I need to start working shield slam into the rotation here. That could help us out a lot. Okay, I think maybe we need to pull these guys back. Um, they're just kind of loose over here. I'll try to pull them back this way.
And same thing here, we'll pull these guys back. And I think we can go ahead and take the Bog Giant next. We're going to do the same thing. We're going to stay right where we're at. We're going to pull him back to us. I'm going to face him this way a little bit. I kind of want to pull these guys. I feel like they're going to come with this uh, lurker here, but let's see. Yeah, here they go. Lurker is definitely coming with. We're going to wait for this this uh, giant boggling here to, to go back to where he came from, basically. And we're still not going to charge in. I don't want to fight them here and have him path back and add in the middle of the fight, so we'll just keep pulling back. And if we pull them back to here, we shouldn't have a problem. So much damage going out on targets that are not marked in the kill order, it's really weird. It's almost like we're not following the kill order.
I don't think there's anything back there that we actually need. It's possible that we don't even need to kill that guy at all. Uh, we are going to get these guys coming down the stairs here. I'm going to body pull them just so we can get them now. pick up the boggling as well. take this chance to go ahead and eat a little bit of buff food. We still have a few minutes left on the potions that I had up, so I'll try to keep an eye on those as well. And yeah, so far this has been a lot smoother than my previous underbog run that we were tanking as, as arm spec. Uh, as you might expect, being prot spec makes tanking a bit easier. There's more buttons to press, I feel like with the inclusion of shield slam and devastate uh the rotation of abilities that i use is a little bit different now so i'm kind of still getting used to that but oh we hit 64 as well i'm not really paying attention to that let's uh, i guess i'm going into let's grab anger management that's good we're gonna go here Yeah, I really don't know why enough damage is going out on the non-marked target enough to uh, pull threat. Hit him a couple times with Devastate, that should keep him. I'm not going to keep pulling off of uh, off of people who are targeting the non-marked enemy. They're going to have to uh, sort that out on their own, I guess. Apparently, though, we generate enough threat now that we can just easily get enemies back onto us with a couple of hits. That's good to know. Very good to know. Alright, so we've got Hungerfen coming up. I don't believe we need anything off of this guy. Cloth gloves, leather gloves, male wrist, a totem, and a throwing weapon. Attack power and hit. Kinda need hit. I don't know if we can equip that though. And the agility, stamina, attack power, wrist dropped. Let's see if anybody needs those. It doesn't look like it. Nope, they went to a greed roll. Yeah, I didn't see any needs there. Well, that's one down. My hope with all these runs is that like people get some gear they need. It doesn't have to be us. This has to be somebody. Let's 
That was a little quick, I guess, but the healer has mana, so we should be fine. That guy just kind of flew right by us. It's very troubling. I'm gonna go ahead and get these guys under control with a group taunt here. Apparently we still did not get this one with that group taunt. Because, you know, the skull means nothing. The skull means attack everything else at the same time. And uh, not to focus on anything at all. Now those of you who aren't familiar, when you're looking at these F1 buttons, these are actually bound to my Logitech uh, G600 MMO mouse, so I have about 12 buttons I can hit easily with my thumb. And when you're looking at these, I'm pressing them on my mouse, that's how they're key bound on the mouse. I can press them on the keyboard as well, but I'm, I'm not doing it there, so don't look at these and have an aneurysm. I'm actually hitting them all with my thumb very easily, like the 1, 2, and 3 are probably the easiest buttons for me to hit, uh, as you can see as I roll through them. <laughs> Good key bindings. Good key bindings are crucial to actually enjoying the game, I found. If you hate your button pressing, you're gonna hate playing this game. And it took me a long time to uh, first get this mouse and then really learn to change my key binds over time as the way I play changes and the abilities we get changes. Uh, I'm always willing to change my key binds, try something different, and try to aim for something that feels best. Right now, this is pretty good. I'll probably keep iterating on it, though, and I feel like that's always important. It should feel good to press your buttons. If it feels difficult to press your buttons, or tedious to press your buttons, or painful to press your buttons, uh, you want to rethink it. You want to rethink your keybinds. I'm trying not to taunt off of people unless I absolutely have to. I'm trying to learn how many abilities does it take once somebody has pulled threat. How many times do I have to devastate or shield slam to get it off of them that way? 
Uh, because that's going to be a lot more reliable than always counting on a taunt that's not always going to be off cooldown, etc. And I just want to get a good idea. Uh, I'm going to pull these guys back because I don't want to fight anything in that room that's pathing around, so let's do that. See, like this right here, when I have a skull marked, I don't understand why so much damage is going out onto the uh, secondary target. That's what bothers me, what I don't really understand sometimes. I mean, it's not a big deal because it's the enhancement shaman pulling the threat and he's, uh, well, I mean, he's wielding a shield, so you guys can go ahead and figure that one out. Uh, we'll take a look at his talents here. Oh, he's, uh, he's, oh, he's elemental. Okay, that makes more sense for having a shield than being enhancement. So, yeah, he's just standing really close and pulling lots of thread. Uh, in here, let's do something like this. Just to have some marks up, I like to give the DPS something to focus on. Obviously, they're not always following those marks. That guy is, uh, well, he's running. He is a running. Uh, I'm going to pull this group next, but I, I'm not going to do that with the patrol right here. I'm going to back up a bit. If I pull the patrol now, maybe we don't get that group. No, I don't think I do this. I think I wait. That should be good. I'm not going to pull the two pet first. We could have pulled it, but I don't think it matters. Well, no one caught that heal. I guess I could have slammed that one. If that agility was strength instead of agility, I'd probably take it. Uh, can we get in here? No, we're not going to be able to pull that yet. Let's just wait. I think we wait for it. Unless it goes all the way back, how far does it go exactly? Yeah, let's, let's get them next. I could pull it outside of here, I don't see a great reason to do that, but let's do it anyway since they seem to be hanging out outside the door.
No, I think part of this group is going to path back here, right? Maybe all of it's going to path. Yeah, I think we're good to come up here. Uh, the last time I did this, they, the group wanted me to pull all the way down, but... We can just pull all the way back. We don't have to pull all the way down the staircase. I don't think anybody here is going to fear us or anything like that. Oh, these guys are ranged guys, though, so that's not great. Let's draw them into melee and kind of try to kite them back. That worked well enough. Do we want to wait for this patrol and how far are they going to come out exactly? Let's wait on this patrol and see just how far they come. Yep. Nope. 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 Let's do something like this instead. I want all of you guys to come this way. Okay, that seems good. He's gonna have to, yeah, he's gonna have to get killed and just kind of maybe learn the lesson to hold back just a little bit. Or just prioritize your target a little bit better and then maybe that won't happen, I don't know. I, I'm not, I'm not doing anything, um, I can't do anything more to keep him alive, I don't think. I, I am trying to keep him alive, I am trying to throw a taunt here and there. But honestly, if you're not gonna manage some of your own threat as a DPS, I really don't know what else to do for you at that point. Uh, now we gotta wait for him to get healed up here. 
We just have to wait because the healer needs some mana. This guy just went down. I mean, he's doing great damage, right? Like, no question, but... You don't do damage when you're dead, so just do a little bit less damage and maybe stay alive. That would be my recommendation and probably would be the way you would enjoy the game best. Is if you were alive for it. Like, I mark a skull, it's easy. Don't target the other guy. <laughs> Wait. Wait to target the other guy. I guess he's multi-dotting, right? I have to assume that he's multi-dotting. You can't, you can't multi-dart stuff that I'm not hitting at all, though. Unless you want to pull it. Unless you want to pull the thread, I wouldn't. Maybe if we were a paladin and we were, we had consecrate, and consecrate was just dealing constant AOE threat, it might be okay. But yeah, he's just—he's <laughs> all in there doing his AOE thing. So, um, best of luck to you, my friend. Best of luck to you. I'm gonna pull them all the way back here, so... That should give anybody time to drink if they need to drink. No, I said I was pulling them back here. Did nobody see that? Did it get caught up in the scroll, I guess? I don't know. But yeah, it literally means we're pulling them back here. I want them to come to the wall. That The wall would be preferable. That's good. I did hit shield wall there. And we are gonna go down though. Uh, I didn't have a problem staying alive the last time I tanked this. I, I think I'm understanding the mechanic here. Uh, did he say BRB? I didn't see that at all. Must have got lost in the scroll. My bad. Uh, yeah, that's awesome. Maybe I should take, uh, BRB. Yep, yep. <laughs> BRB and then the loot scroll. Maybe I should take the, uh, looting out of my chat tab. That's really all I can think of. Fun times. Uh, they reset him, which is great. So we don't have to do a full wipe. Yeah, read up. Uh, that's the first thing I'm doing when I'm pulling a boss is I'm reading up. Yeah, I should have, I should have looked before the pull, but... Oh good, someone's gotta go. Great. Welcome to pug life, guys. Welcome to the life of pugging it. Who did we lose? Did we lo was it the warlock? No, it wasn't. <laughs> it was... the shaman. 
I, I'm gonna say we four man it. <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think that we do. But we'll see. We will see, and if we can fill it, we'll be back. Alright, we did get a replacement. We have a level 64 Blood Elf Paladin in here to take any gear that drops that we could equip. So, that's good. Everyone seems to be ready. No one seems to be AFK. Gonna pull him back all the way to the wall. Uh, let's hope we can do it this time. Pulling him back. Yeah, no, don't, don't, no, Jesus. <laughs> God. Don't want him going off in that direction. No, no heals until he's hitting me, please. Yeah, it turns out it's a much smoother fight when your healer is not away from the keyboard. It's it's crazy, I know. Uh, there we go. There's some nice paladin plate. I bet this paladin should be happy that they uh, chose to come along for this. If they need it, which they do, that's good. I'm happy to see that. It's good that we replace somebody and that they can come in and get some loot. Good times. Now that being said, um, before my respec I was looking to get the two-handed hammer out of here, which I think drops on the next boss, but now that we're no longer arm spec, I, I, I don't think I would take that over, over a paladin if they need it, because I, I think I'm going to be mainly sword and boarding when I, when I quest from now on. I think I'm going to stick prot spec and just see how that goes. Ah, uh, there's patrols that fly up right here, I believe. Maybe we should just chill here for a second. Yeah, there is one of the guys for the quest up here. Here we go. Uh, let's do this. I want to get these guys. Where are you going? Did I miss? I must have missed him. I'm gonna pull back. I have a bad feeling that there's like a patrol that's gonna come by or something of that nature is gonna come and just kind of screw us up if we don't pull back a little bit on these. Yeah, there's the, uh, there's the patrol. Pulling them way back. Don't think it's gonna make a difference. Don't think anybody else saw these guys. So, oh good, we, we did somehow avoid them even though the paladin was stuck. Nope, nope, we almost avoided them. Yeah, we didn't avoid them. We almost avoided them. We were so close. So close to avoiding them. And now we're just going to get feared until we're dead. Here, here, you guys have some of that. Maybe that'll keep us alive for the additional seconds we need. Maybe we'll get some threat here on some of these guys. Who knows at this point. 
If anybody needs anything pulled off of them, they're gonna have to bring it here. Yeah, it's not enough to know that there's a patrol coming. It turns out you actually have to uh, maneuver your pull in such a way as to not let it add. And I did let Skull of Dangle out there on the Paladin and uh, didn't pick it up in time to move everything back. So yeah, we got the adds. We came through it okay. I do have a uh, challenging shout up that's off cooldown now, so I can use that. If we get a pull like that again, I'll have to use that next time. Okay, uh, coming down here, I'm going to kind of try to just pull these guys way back because I don't want to deal with any fears taking us out into the open over there. So we're gonna, just going to come back here and kind of play it safe. Alright, same thing here. We're just going to want to keep pulling back. There's a patrol that kind of moves about here a little bit. Maybe I need to take out these guys. Quickly now, to the back. Poison spits. I hope that he moves quickly. Uh, if he doesn't, we're going to get some ads. There's the fear, it's not really where I want to be going. And yeah, he's out of here. <laughs> Great. Uh, we are probably going to pull these guys. I'm really surprised that the Paladin running out there like that did not pull those. Uh, that being said, I think we're going to wait for them to come back. Uh, yeah, here they come. Oh good, they're going to stand back here. Yeah, I should know that about these enemies by now, that they just kind of stand back and blast us.
Uh, wait, what happened here? Is this a bind when equipped? Okay, uh, somebody roll need. Yeah, I mean... I mean, you gotta know I'm gonna inspect you, man. These have 224 armor and 28 stamina. This is... This is defense rating. I don't like that. That's a that's a that's a bear piece. Now now let's see if he ever equips him. Cause if he doesn't equip him, he's gonna sell him. They don't have any sockets on him, so there's no reason not to equip him right away. Oh, he did it. Okay. <laughs> That's all I ask. Literally, it's totally fine to roll on a BOE if it's an upgrade for you, but you have to equip it. fun. Guess I could have positioned myself up against the wall or something to avoid that from happening. It's fine. We're fine with not following the mark. I guess maybe there's different ways to do this fight and it doesn't matter. I've always killed the bear first. So maybe that's not right. Let's just, like, do everything right now and not, like, actually finish the fight. Man, this paladin is getting geared out from this run, man. That's how it goes when you're a paladin, because when you are a paladin, nobody else needs intellect on their plate, so it is a uh, great thing to be a paladin. And, yeah, that's why we're going to be a paladin on the Fresh Start servers that open up for Wrath. You literally have no one who can roll on your gear. <laughs> it's it's one of the few classes, maybe the only class in Classic, where literally nobody else needs your gear. If there is a piece of plate and it has intellect on it, no one needs it. You're the only person that should use it. Warriors shouldn't use it. Death Knights can't use it. It, it makes it really simple. You're just going to get fed that gear. Assuming it drops, obviously. It has to do that first. But once it does drop, it's like there's no competition. Zero competition. Whereas if a piece of plate with strength and stamina dropped on it, and it was an upgrade, you have to know that paladin's gonna roll on it even if it doesn't have int. They're gonna roll on it because it's gonna be an upgrade, you know. Unless they're a healer, then they really, really want the int. But yeah, well, I mean, as a warrior, you have to compete with death knights and wrath and paladins. But paladins don't really compete for gear with anybody. I wish we can skin these, uh, dead Marshfang guys. Okay, here we go. Last boss.
That works. It's one of those bosses when I wish I could roll my camera out just a little bit more to get a better view of the enemy. Can't hard to see him from down here. Can't interrupt the levitate. And there we go, some male, a male chess piece, 16 stamina, 19 int, some sockets, crit strike. Would have been good for our shaman friend who left us. And guys, that's the run. That is Underbog tanked as Prospect. It was a little bit easier. Obviously, we just have issues with warlocks who really need to multi-dot things. It's hard to keep threat off of those dots. So yeah, other than that, it was a lot easier to tank this than it was as arm spec. And yeah, that's going to be all for us for today. Thank you all so much for being here, especially if you stuck it out to the end of this video. You are a legend, and I greatly appreciate it. A special thank you to those of you who are with me on the YouTube membership. Check out that join button if you're interested, and also to those of you who support me on Patreon. It is that kind of support that will hopefully let me keep doing this long into the future, so I greatly do appreciate it. Everybody take care of yourselves out there and take care of each other. And we will see you back here again really soon. Bye now.